Medicaid services. Okay, ma'am. Okay, as I told in ICD, every year they used to do this uh, uh, revising the code or deleting the code or adding the new code, they will do in October in October. ICD. Yes, but in CPT, it is done every year January and it is done only by this uh, AMA people and the CMS people. They are only the authorized people to do this all this code. Okay? Okay, ma'am. That is where it is. And when it comes to the CPT, you know, basically if you see in ICD, initially you will have your alphabetical index and at the back you will have your numerical index. Yes, ma'am. Am I right? Yes. So you, you will take code in alphabetical index. After taking, you will check in the numerical index. But when it comes to this uh, CPT, you know, if you see a book, initially you will have your numerical index. Okay. Yes, and at the back you will have your alphabetical index. Okay. Okay. And based upon your CPT procedures and CPTs only, your project is determined. Whether you are going to be in the inpatient project or outpatient project or you are going to be in surgery or you are going to be in radiology, whatever it is. Okay. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. So that is where it is. So when it comes to CPT, basically we have six divisions involved in it. Okay? One is evaluation management. Okay, ma'am. Next is radiology. Okay, ma'am. Surgery. Okay, ma'am. Anesthesiology. Okay, ma'am. And next is pathology and laboratory. Okay, ma'am. And finally, medicine. Okay. Okay, These are all the six divisions. We'll have separate, separate project itself in one city. Basically, they separate like this only people, uh, only for evaluation management and only for surgery, sometimes radiology. We have separate departments involved in it. And again, for all this, uh, I mean, the specialities, we'll use only this ICD 10 as a common diagnosis. Okay? Okay. okay. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so uh, when it comes to evaluation management, your broad series will be, it starts from 99. Okay. All your 99 series codes, it says about your evaluation management services. Okay, ma'am. Basically, when you take your CPT, it will be of five digits of numerical code. No uh, full stops or dots will be there. Continuous five digits codes will be there, not less than that or more than that. Okay, ma'am. Okay, and uh, you can see uh, your 99 digits, if a code starts from 99, it comes under evaluation management. If a code starts from only 9, 9192 and all, that comes under medicine. Okay. If a code starts from 0, okay, ma that comes under anesthesia. Okay, okay ma'am. If a code starts from uh, 126, if a code starts from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then okay. that comes under surgery. Okay, okay ma'am. All your 7 serious codes, it comes under radiology and uh, radiology. Okay, ma'am. Okay? Okay, ma'am. All your 8 serious codes, it comes under pathology and okay. okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Okay, this is where an introduction. First, we will see about evaluation management. Okay, ma'am. Okay. When it comes to evaluation management, here under evaluation management, we have many subdivisions involved. Like you have your inpatient, you have your outpatient, you have your emergency, you have your consultancy course, and you have your critical care, and uh, you have your nursing facility, domiciliary services, like that. All the services. See, surgery means it's different. The surgery is performed. Surgery. Okay. If a doctor, if a, if a doctor is doing this diagnostic procedures, that will come under radiology. If a doctor is doing some other like uh, lab procedures, that will come under pathology and laboratory. Okay. If a doctor is doing something medicine, for example, uh, hemodialysis, chemotherapy, and all, it comes under medicine. Okay. okay. And as you see, again, we have a course. What about this outpatient visit and all, inpatient visit and all? You should have some serious course for that, right? Yes, ma'am. So that comes under evaluation management. Basically, when it comes to all other things like anesthesia, surgery and all, we don't have a very big guidelines to be followed. But when it comes to evaluation management, another we have many divisions involved in it. And each day, they will be putting in different project. You are an outpatient project, inpatient project like that. They will separate it. And we have a single guideline, which is to be 
follows for the different uh, categories. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So when it comes to evaluation management, we are following the guidelines. Like uh, to, uh, when it comes to ELM, we have five levels of codes in each category. Please take your ICD gen book and start with that. No, nine nine CBS. Initially, you will have ICD gen, ma'am. Book. CPT. CPT book. I'm so much close with it with this ICD, you know. So all the time I used to say only ICD. So it's CC. Yes, ma'am. And the next is history of present illness. Okay, ma'am. And uh, next one is review of systems always. Okay, ma'am. And next one is.
Hello. Yes, ma'am. Okay, one is Chief Complaint, History of Presentedness and Review of Systems. Guys, I am pasting this one in, in, in the Skype chat box. Have a look over it, okay? Okay, ma'am. And uh, you'll have today your final ICD 10 assessment, okay? Okay, ma'am. So, you have your Chief Complaint, History of Presentedness, Review of Systems, Past, Family and Social History. These are all the four components which should be there in your history. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So, when it comes to uh, like these things, uh, chief complaint. What do you mean by chief complaint? Chief complaint means which is nothing but the present illness given by the patient. So, when we first, if a patient is seeing the doctor, what the doctor will ask, what is your problem? Okay. What the patient will say, what is the problem? He will say, right, I have a pain. I have this thing, that's it. He just say the problem alone first. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That is chief complaint. Okay. After that, after uh, giving the information, then the doctor will ask about the remaining things. Like where is the pain? Okay. Location. Then he will ask how the pain is. Quality. Okay, ma'am. Whether it is an, uh, tender, I mean, tender pain or burning pain. Like that he will ask. Okay, ma'am. And he will ask about severity. Okay, ma'am. Severity means how severe the pain is. Is it, is it a tolerable pain? Yes, ma'am. Or intolerable pain like that? Yes, ma'am. And next is duration. Yes, ma'am. Duration means how long the pain is. Is it just for one hour? Is it for two hours? Is it for three hours? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And uh, they, uh, uh, they'll ask for um, the timing. Timing means is the pain is only in the morning or only in the evening or only in the afternoon like that. Okay, ma'am. Then context. Context means they'll ask about uh, like uh, which keeps you this pain tolerable. See, some people they'll say, you know, if I'm having severe headache, I tie a cloth in my head so that I'll get somewhat released. They'll say, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, when I have severe stomach pain, then if I lie down flat, it will be okay, they'll say. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Ah, okay. And next is uh, modifying factors. Modifying factors means uh, like uh, which, I mean modifying factors all the time you don't get. For injuries only we will get modifying factors. Modifying factors means external cause of injuries. Okay, ma'am. Okay, uh, like uh, because of accident I got this injury. Uh, uh, someone pushed to me I got fractured like that. Okay, ma'am. And associated signs and symptoms. Because of this pain, what are the other uh, signs and symptoms you are getting? For example, uh, if a patient is having sinus, he will get other symptoms like severe headache, sometimes vomiting and swelling in the uh, eyes, nearby eyes and all. Yes, ma'am. That one. Okay. So, using these, we will determine your history of presentness. This comes in the history of presentness. Okay, ma'am. Okay? Yes, ma'am. And next is <coughs> review of systems. Ah, review of systems. So in this history of present illness, before going to that, I just want to say the final thing. Okay? So yes, just review this alone today, okay? Yes, ma'am. Just review this alone today. Uh, I'll send you some uh, final assessment question paper now. So start uh, Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma and start doing it, okay? Yes, ma'am. Don't get confused with this. It will go slow in this evaluation management, okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay. Fine, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. All these final assessment is Until you go No, now she is sending something I see the private question paper. When we are giving the wrong code. Now, so some many people are not Start. coming. That is. How would I do? Present to 12, 12.30 the those speakers are coming. Start
individually Koshipat or all are having same Koshipat. Yesterday I also said that.